Hey, Super Scientists, this is Mrs. Doan here, and today we on May the 4th, with all my Star Wars gear, um, we're going to be exploring life cycles. So the first one is the tomato plant. So you have your seed that, that did come from an adult plant. It's planted, germinates, and then it grows. It grows into a young plant, then it turns into a mature, grows into a mature plant. Um, the mature plant develops flowers, and when the flowers fall off, that's when you get the fruit, in this case, the tomato. And then the process starts all over, or the cycle starts all over again. This one is the frogs. Let's see, you have your eggs. The eggs are fertilized, and then um, you have embryos. The embryos then turn into tadpoles. Uh, the tadpoles grow and develop gills so they can breathe underwater. Um, then the tail keeps growing, and then from there it grows hind legs and lives off of food stored in the tail, and then its front legs develop. So it has front legs, back legs, and a tail. Not as big of a tail, though. Um, the tail becomes shorter because it's consuming that energy from there. And then once the tail is fully gone, then you have the young frog. Young frog, as you can see, is just a smaller version of the adult frog. The, the young frog grows and becomes an adult frog, and then the cycle starts all over again. This next one is lady beetles, a.k.a. ladybugs, as we like to call them. Um, first stage is the eggs. The eggs then hatch into larvae, which look like this. And then it has, goes through a pupa phase. And then uh, when it's done, it is the full grown adult. This next one is a uh, different kind of beetle. This is a stag beetle. It's, so you have your eggs and then they, their larva stages are called instars. So first in star, second in star, third in star, then it goes through a pupa phase, and then when it's done, it is a full grown adult. This next one is the crickets. So you have your fertilized egg, and then when it hatches, it is a nymph. And so nymph is basically a very tiny version of an adult. So they have go they slowly grow until they're next full-grown adult. Now for the radishes, you have your seeds, and then you have the seeds are planted, then germinate, and then the roots go, and it, uh, radishes are actually a root vegetable, so the radish itself is underground. All you see is the leaves outside of, you know, from above ground. When it's fully ripened, then you can harvest them and eat them. And if you get the seeds out of them, then the whole process can start all over again. Uh, last but not least is a life cycle of a bean plant, in this case, a lima bean. So you have your seed, um, you can plant it, and then the sprout. So that's little tiny, it splits, and then a little tiny green leaf is coming out while it has developed it's developing roots that continues to grow and, and then until an adult plant the adult plant then develops flowers the flowers fall off and are replaced by it's the fruit which is the bean pod with all the lima beans inside and so that is it for the various life cycles that you know, you cover in third, fourth, and fifth grade. So I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. I say so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. Yeah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. May the fourth be with you.